Packet Assembler Disassembler Packet Assembler Disassembler is a telecommunications device that breaks a data stream into individual packets and formats the packet headers for asynchronous transmission over an X25 network. It also accepts packets from the network and translates them into a data stream. Packet Assembler Disassemblers are a form of data communications equipment for connecting asynchronous data terminal equipment, such as computers and dumb terminals, to the X25 packet switching service. How does it work? When one computer, on an X25 network, wants to communicate with another computer in a remote location, the first computer, sends a signal to its attached pad, requesting a connection to the remote computer. The remote computer responds, by either accepting the request, and initiating full duplex communication, or rejecting the request. Either computer can terminate the link at any time. Note that this communication link, is for data only, X25 does not support voice transmission. Note also that pads are DCEs, and even though they are located at the customer premises, they are considered nodes, on the X25 network. The PADS function is simply to assemble data, such as strings of characters, into packets to transmit over the X25 network to the remote host and to disassemble packets that are received. PADS are often used for providing remote access via dumb terminals over X25 to mainframe or mini computer hosts. In this scenario, the terminals require PADS, but the mainframe hosts do not they are directly connected to the X25 network. To configure the pad, the administrator must specify a number of pad parameters, such as echo control, data forwarding, break signals, line folding, and binary speed. The pad parameters, usually 22 for each terminal that the pad services, are defined by an international telecommunication union protocol called X3. Communication between terminals and pads is governed by the protocol X28 and communication between the pad and the remote host is governed by X29. Pads come in different configurations. Some pads support eight or more asynchronous DTE connections and have multiple DCE interfaces for maximum configurability. Typically, you connect your asynchronous host to the pad using RJ45 connectors on twisted pair cabling. The pad, then connects to a channel service unit data service unit, which interfaces with the X25 connection using a serial interface, such as RS232 or V35. The remote access service, on Microsoft Windows NT and Windows 2000, supported pads, and other ways of connecting to X25 networks, such as X25 smart cards, and special modems for dialing up X25 carriers, such as SprintNet and InfoNet. If you want to find more, about networking concepts and definitions, press the subscribe button below. And don't forget to check our website, networkencyclopedia.com.